Hey ya folks, how's it going? Today we are talking about a pretty popular game. In fact, it's a bit of a giant in the tabletop world. It's about investigating mind-bending horrors while trying to survive at the same time. This is Call of Cthulhu. There are a couple of setting options for this game. The primary one in the base game is North America in the 1920s. Massachusetts, to be precise. Though if you're looking for other settings, there is Cthulhu by Gaslight, and there are several other supplements that take place in different parts in the world and different points in time. Lovecraftian lore and setting is really popular these days, and it wouldn't be hard, in my opinion, to tweak this game to suit a new setting. While H.P. Lovecraft's works and the man himself were incredibly racist, classist, sexist, and homophobic, the seventh edition of this book does take active moves to try encourage a more diverse world and, of course, a more diverse playing group. The Investigator's Handbook has a lot of information about North America in the 1920s, including general overviews as to what was happening historically, cultural events, down to fashion and cars. Call of Cthulhu 7th Edition does have, in my opinion, one of the most straightforward systems out there. Everything's done with percentile dice, D100s and D10s. Generally, you want to roll below your score that you might have in a certain skill. You also have degrees of success. Just scraping by means you just pass the test. Or if you have a great success, you could have some sort of boon or advancement in the game. Setting up a character for this game is a bit more complicated and does feel a little bit like a maths homework assignment. You need to roll dice, add numbers, multiply to then find your score. After the initial growing pains of creating your character, the gameplay for this game runs super smoothly. You do get to note whenever your character passes a test. This could be more experience to upgrade your character in the future. Something that does set apart Call of Cthulhu from other popular tabletop role-playing games is that combat is very dangerous for characters. Unlike a lot of other games, your characters have a very low health score. Injuries take time in-game to heal. This game is more based around solving mysteries and investigating to find the best information or the best way to tackle a problem. Characters are less likely to enter a confrontation with guns, rather they're more likely to try find a clever way in or a way to solve it that is going to put their characters at the least amount of risk. Another factor that makes Call of Cthulhu well known is that each player has a sanity score. As the characters confront mind-bending horrors, they must test to see whether or not they can cope with them. When you run out of sanity, your character goes insane and they're probably not going to be much help anymore. It is a really interesting mechanic and it looks at damage a little bit differently. There are some distinct advantages and disadvantages with each character creation option you choose. Age and profession can greatly impact what a character is good at and what scores they have specialized in. I really think this encourages interesting builds as you can have characters that are very old but are still mechanically useful. There isn't a table of contents or an index in this book which makes flicking to the right thing that you're looking for very difficult. There are some interesting tables at the back for quick reference, but it is really tricky when you are looking for a specific rule and you can't find it. I also happen to think that the I also happen to think the investigator's handbook doesn't have the best layout, and I would love to see a revised edition of the rules that sets things out a bit more logically, or at least has a table of contents, please. I think for a book as thick as this one is, it's pretty important to have these things. I will say the art of this book is really exciting, and the historical information provided about the 1920s creates for an interesting and grounded experience for playing a game about a Lovecraftian mythos. Overall, I do really enjoy Call of Cthulhu. The system is logical and allows for various skills to be useful in different situations. It's a solid game that definitely deserves its place in the tabletop community. Honestly, my main gripe is with the layout of the book, so clearly it must be doing something right. 
I've seen copies of the investigator's handbook around Australia for $90, so I presume it's about 50 US. You're very likely to find it at your local gaming store as it is one of the more accessible games out there. So for such a big game in the tabletop world, I hope I've given you a bit of a taste of what it's like so that you're keen to check it out yourself. Are there any other Chaosium games I should review? I have been really curious about RuneQuest. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. While you're there, I encourage you to like, subscribe, maybe share with a friend. It all helps the channel keep going. I also have a Ko-Fi page, which allows you to keep up with the behind the scenes and what reviews I'm working on. If you'd like to donate, you're more than welcome to, but just watching is enough. I hope you're all well, and I look forward to seeing you next time at the gaming table. Bye.